Dr. Brandon, sometimes when I'm in the office, I notice that patients ask non-chiropractic questions. Why is that? You know, that's a really good question. Let me tell you why that really happens most of the time. As we become more involved with our patients over time, they start to realize that we actually are able to work with a lot of non-chiropractic issues, not in the sense that we're going to correct your problems, but that we're able to lend guidance on where you should go with those problems. So oftentimes people come in and say, I've got this stomach issue or I've got a foot issue or whatever it might be, and what we'll find is that if I can help you, I'll be able to do that, usually pretty effectively in a short period of time, very cost effectively as well. If it's something that I'm not sure that I can help you with, I know the right people to send you to. So we're kind of your triage in a sense. We can say, yep, this is chiropractic, let's work with it. Nope, you know what, I think a neurologist should take a look at you. Let me recommend one that I know is good. And that way you not only get the recommendation that you feel confident in, but you can get into the chiropractor so much faster, generally speaking, than you can to your medical doctor. It costs less, we get you in the right direction, we know how to coordinate your insurances, and things just work out so much better. So many times people will say, Dr. Verana, you've never steered me wrong, so I just wanted to check with you first on this. And that gives me such personal satisfaction knowing that patients have that level of confidence in our work that they know that we'll do the right thing for them.